In this installment, I'll be reviewing over three hours of content from the Friday afternoon of the convention. Here's a sneak preview of what's in store. Good day, brothers and sisters. Do you own a car or a motorbike or some other type of vehicle? Isn't prayer amazing? Can you explain it? Let's watch a video about the stars. Are you tired of being tired? What would we do without forests? Are you sick of being sick? An interesting question. Reject the idea that you will prepare yourselves with weapons. Now the dove is known as the sheep of the bird world because of its gentle appearance and disposition. We need to be aware of whether or not it's operating correctly. Now wait a minute, let's think about that. Well, for a start, you'd try to test the horn and honk it. It seems that most literal snakes would rather flee than attack. Have you ever stood on the ocean shore, enjoying the salt spray, watching the breakers dash against the rocks, or run up onto the sandy beach and then withdraw? Think about what the decomposition and recycling of organic matter means for us and our future. You find a whole lot of poisonous spiders. Well, that's not good, is it? When we're attacked during the Great Tribulation by God's enemies, no matter how powerful or threatening they may seem, they can't possibly survive Jehovah's anger. And we can take that promise to the bank. If you were to check a horn, what would you be looking for, or perhaps more importantly, listening to? We see the awesome wonder. But do we hear the thunder? Now, if the no sound comes out, you know you have a problem. Friends, observe the stars. And of course, you'd be interested if there's any strange sounds or noises. The ocean can act like a powerful giant that sometimes goes on a rampage. If you start to hear strange grinding noises, that is never a good sign, is it? What's the takeaway? What's the lesson? What's the takeaway? What's the lesson? Well, now, what's the takeaway? What's the lesson for us? You want all of those poisonous spiders out of the car. Amazing. Will you ever look at a forest in the same way again? Yes, Jehovah will use water. He may use hailstones of undisclosed size to destroy those wicked humans. So we're encouraged to conceal ourselves if we sense danger. If you find there's very little resistance and you have to start pumping it, again, that's a problem. Now, can you imagine if you had the assignment to feed just one blue whale? I know, I can think of a couple of things that I just, I really can't eat, and I hate them. And one day, Jehovah will shut that lion's mouth permanently. Come on, really? I'm 180 tons, and you're gonna feed me with a little crustacean? That's larger than this ball. Don't harbor retaliatory thoughts. Couldn't we have just worked out that I eat a couple big tuna every day? But the bottom line is, we are infected with sin. Your generous donations make this possible. Donations can be made online at donate.jw.org. So just to be clear, the clips you've just seen were obviously jumbled up and presented without context, just for a bit of fun. Whereas what's to follow will be more serious, in-depth and very much in context. <laughs> <laughs>